Hello everyone. I am coming at you today to talk about a project I'm working on. Now this video isn't going to be reborn related, but it is baby related. So what you're looking at right now is some wooden letters and they're turned upside down because um, when I turn them over I will share with you what I've been asked to work on. Um, and I'll give you a moment to uh, think about what you're seeing and see if you can guess where these where these uh, characters come from. Some of you might might be real easily easily guessing it, but others um, might take a little more time depending on how familiar you are with the with the characters so here is the letter i got some characters on there and then this l over here has two little guys any ideas okay well the j might help you a little more when you see that. Anything coming to you? Okay, well this next letter will probably definitely help when I show you this. So those of you that have guessed Dr. Seuss, you are correct. And this is the lovable character, the cat in the hat. So what are these letters for? Um, my neighbor has her, it's her youngest daughter is going to have a baby. And she is due at the beginning of September. And she came to me and asked me if I would be willing to paint, draw and paint Dr. Seuss characters on letters for a nursery. And I said, oh, that sounds like fun. And so she gave me these letters and the um, project has begun. So this is where I'm at so far. All I've done is drawn the characters on and I have two more letters to go. So this is the baby's name. It's going to be a boy and the baby's name is Elijah. So E-L-I-J-A-H and I need two more. I need to draw characters on two more letters and then from there I have to, the real fun begins. I have to paint all this. So the drawing part is relatively easy. The painting is going to take a good amount of time because if you see just next to my hand, these things are relatively small. And painting um, small things is a lot harder, of course, than painting larger things. So I have to not only paint the characters, but I have to paint these letters. And yeah, I have till the end of the month to get it done. <laughs> so I gotta get busy. But I wanted to show you a work in progress to see um, what you guys think so far. And um, what characters would you like to see on the last two letters? I'm thinking um, I'd at least like to put thing one and thing two on one of them. These are just adorable little little guys that I saw on one of the Dr. Seuss books. I think it's just the ABC book. And this, of course, is one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And this one is green eggs and ham, one of my favorites. And then of course this is just the cat in the hat. And 
and he's on the back of all the books, so I didn't actually have to have the book to draw him on. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is this kind of work like this is my passion. I like painting the reborn dolls too, but this is the kind of stuff I get super excited about. I love, love, love painting characters and drawing. It's just something I really get stoked about. So. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to show you some more photos as I progress and things go go further on. Um, and yeah, you can feel free to comment and, and let me know what you, what you want to see on the last two letters. Oh, actually, let me show you the letters before we go. Sorry, they're in a plastic bag, so I apologize for the crinkling that you're probably hearing. There's the H. So the H has lots of space. I can go up both sides here. And I probably will. And then the A, if I can get it out of the bag here. Come on. There we go. And then there's the A. So the A just has this. There's really no room to draw in these little, I mean, it's like the width of my finger maybe skinnier even so there's just no space but yeah let me know what you want here or what you'd like to see because basically my neighbor gave me the sky's the limit basically as long as it's dr seuss she didn't care what characters i chose so all right well thank you everybody for your attention and I appreciate any any suggestions you might have okay um, next time I come back hopefully I'll be showing some babies and I'll try to get Goldie in here with me too okay everybody thank you for watching have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all next time bye bye